Okay, yeah, welcome back to the tutorial. In this particular video, I'm going to be showing us more on assigning different superscript to our mean and standard deviation table, indicating significance difference and non significance difference. Okay, uh, in this first table, which is for my phosphate, I already have my word, my phosphate here. Okay, and I have my phosphorus, and these were analyzed at 100 meter, 200 meter, 400 meter, 600 and control. Okay, from our previous video, we have explained all this. So, if you haven't watched the previous video, go and watch it and get it uh, clear before watching this. Okay, uh, from this, I want to check for significant difference. From this mean and standard deviation using the Duncan table. From what I can see here, I have how many groups? One, two, three, four, five groups. Okay, just like I have here, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so the same five group here corresponds to one, two, three, four, five subgroup here. Okay, this column here corresponds to this column, and this column is equivalent to what A, B, C, D, E. Okay, so if column A Column 1 here is equivalent to A. If I want to represent column 1, I'll simply write A here, okay, as my superscript. So from what I have here, when the mean of a particular group alone exists in a column, it means it is significantly different from the mean of other groups, okay? As you can see, only the mean of group 1 existed in column 1. Only the mean of group 2 existed in group in uh, column two the mean of group three existed in column three telling you that all these are significantly different from what each other okay and if you check it in the multiple comparison table you will see the same so what do i do here i will simply add my word my superscript a i'll just go to my home okay and i'll click on this this x raised to power and it will turn to superscript then for group 2 i'll put b because it's different from group 1 so i'll simply since it's in a different column the same thing applies to c okay the same thing applies to c and then i'll click this the same thing applies to d and then i'll click this okay they all existed in different word column then e okay then I will click on this. Okay, so this is what I have for phosphate. Then let's go down to phosphorus. Let me show us one amazing thing about phosphorus. Okay, this is for phosphorus. Okay, this is the table for phosphorus. Okay, so this that's this second table. These are their means and then their standard deviation. I need to assign if there is significant difference or not. Okay, if you look at this particular value here, okay, it's simply telling you if they are significant or not. If you watch here from the one we just mentioned before, you discover we we'll have that's for phosphate. All this place is one, one, one. When you have significant level of one at in Duncan table, it simply tell you that there is what significant difference. Okay, but if you have lesser value is telling you there is what non significant difference okay look at what we have here for instance this is for phosphorus as we have in this second table in the column one i discovered that group one occur in in column one then group two also occurred in column one and also appeared in what in column two okay group one here look at the column here Look at the mean here. Yeah? Group 2 also has a mean in group what 1 and also has a mean in what in group 2. Okay, can we notice that now? I have group 2, I have 5.68 here, and I also have 5.68 here. To title it here, to put a superscript here in the group 1, for group 1, I have my what? My A here. Okay, I have my A because group 1 just appeared in only column 1, okay? But group 2 appeared in column 1 and column 2, okay? And I told you that this column 
correspond to the alphabet. This one, two, three, four is the same as A, B, C, D. Okay? So because group two appeared in group one and group two, I'm simply going to put what A, B as superscript of this particular group two. So I'll come here and I'll put what A, B. Okay? And I'll put it in what? In superscript form. Okay? This is A, B. Okay. The implication of this is that group A and group B is no significant difference. There is no significant difference between group A and group B. And that's because from the value, though it depends on the range of total range of value you have. But from what I can see here, 5.3 is very close to what? 5.6. Okay? 5.3 is very close to 5.6. As a result, there is no much difference in their what mean value. Okay, as a result, A and AB, because I still have A in group 2, is telling me that A is not significantly different from what group 2, okay, from B. That is why you, under column 1, you have what your A and your B, you have your group 1 and your group 2 existing in the same word column. Then when you go to group 2 now, we have assigned for group 2. When you go to group 3 now, I have group 3 also in column 2 and in column what 3. Can you see? I have group 3 in column what 2, the mean in column 2 in, and in column 3. The implication is that group 3 is not significantly different from group 2. Okay? It's not significantly different from what? From group 2. So, on that 3, 3 existed in group 2, in column 2, and also existed in what? In column 3. And remember, this is A, B, C. The implication is that I have under group 3, I have B and C because the mean existed in what? In B and also existed in what? In C. So under group 3 here, I'm going to, which is 400 meter. Okay, this group 3 is uh, correspond to 400 meter. So under 400 meter, I'm going to have what? B, C. I'll make it what? Superscript. Okay, why did I put B, C? This is simply because group 3 appeared in B and also appeared in C. This is A, B, C. So the B here corresponds to 2. The C here corresponds to 3. Okay? So I have what? B, C. And then for group 4, which is what? The 600. Okay? 600, which is the 600 meter here, corresponding here. Under the, the group 4, I discovered that group 4 appeared under column 3 and under column what 4. The implication is that group 4 is not significantly different from group 3. Okay? And that is why they are very close. They are same. They are, in, they are not significantly. So, D2 appeared on column 3 and also group 4 also appeared on what column 4. So, what I'll be having here is what? C, D. This is A, B, C, D. So, I'll have C, D here. And i have my word C, D. Okay? Then I'll put this in superscript. Okay, then group 5. Look at my group 5, which is the control. Okay, the control only existed in what? In group 4. Okay, the implication is that uh, group 5 and group 4 are not significantly different. They are they are not what? Significantly different. As you can see, this is 6.2 and this is 6.3. The mean value are very close. Okay, so... Under group 5, I'm just going to have my what? My D. So here I'll have D. And then I'll put it in what? Superscript. Okay? So I'm done putting on this particular table now. Okay? So let me now interpret a bit again what this superscript is all about now from this particular table again. From what we saw here, we have established before that differences in in superscript indicate significant difference okay differences in what in superscript indicate what significant difference which means the mean value which means that this the the, the z value okay this the sig value okay or what they call the p value okay is less than or equal to what 0 0.05 okay so from here it has been analyzed and they discover that the p value for this post under 100, 200, 400, 600, and control are all what significantly different. They are all less than 0 0.05. As a result, I have my A, B, C, D, E, meaning they are what 
they are all significantly different. But when I come to phosphorus, I discover that phosphorus, under phosphorus, I have 100, 200, 400, 300, and the rest. Because in phosphate, the difference in the um, superscript indicated their what their significant difference. In phosphorus, anywhere I see a superscript existing together or where I have the same superscript is telling me that there, was, there is no significant difference. For instance, I have A here and on that one I have AB. Because there is C A in this AB, the implication is that 200 and 100 are not significantly what different. And if you go back to the Duncan table, you discover that 200 and 100 are in the same column, meaning they are what they are not significantly different. If you trace it to the multiple comparison, you discover there is no significant difference between what this A, this group one, and this group two. When you come to but when you compare group one, which is 100 to 400 to group three now, you discover that this is A. And this is what BC. So there is significant difference between A, group 1, and group what, 3. Because this alphabet is A here, and this is BC. There is no A here, so there is significant difference. But when you check A, B, and BC, there is B, B here. So there is no significant difference between group 2 and group 3 here. When you come to group 4, I have BC here, and I have CD. Because there is CC here, these two are not significantly different. Okay? The same thing applies to group 5. I have C, D here, I have D here. The implication is there is what? There is no significant difference between this group 4 and group 5. But when you have a different alphabet, it simply indicates what? That there is significant what? Difference. Take your time and go through this often and often. And also lay your hands on some other analysis and publications and see how you can, you know, draft out by assigning the word, the superscript as an indication of what? significant difference or no significant difference. Thank you and see you in the next video.